behind bars. This after a Harare magistrate ruled that there was reasonable suspicion that the pastor committed a crime. Maori is facing charges of subverting a constitutionally elected government, inciting public violence and also mobilizing a demonstration against President Mugabe in New York at the United Nations General Assembly. The scene at the court yesterday was different from his last appearance. There were no flag-waving supporters to encourage him. Maorire was taken away in the back of a police truck with only a handful of supporters present. He has been remanded in custody until the 17th of February, and his lawyers say they will begin the process of appealing for bail at the High Court on Monday. He is accused of uh, having uh, attempted or, uh, to subvert a constitutionally elected government by um, publishing videos encouraging public disobedience mm -hmm. and the second charge being that uh, in, uh, on 15 September he mobilized the entire world uh, to go to New York to embarrass the president uh, of the Republic of Zimbabwe and ask him to resign. And in Turkey, the military there says it killed 51 militants in northern Syria and hit 59 Islamic State targets, this as part of its ongoing incursion. The military says of the 51 neutralized the terrorists, four were so-called emirs or local commanders. Turkish jets destroyed 56 buildings and three command control centers in the Al-Bab and Bzagar regions. Coalition forces also conducted eight airstrikes in.